Okay, and then we need to take a break, but before the break, there's really a couple of important announcements I'd like to uh, pass on to you. Uh, before we do the Hawking the Squawk, there's also there's a... Uh, there's a rally Sunday, uh, Peace March Recruitment Center, Center at Harvard Square this Sunday at 3 o'clock. You can check that out. Also, uh, Naked City with Food Not Bombs is going to be uh, sponsoring a uh, vigil. That, well, actually, there is a vigil going on in D.C. right now down in Lafayette Park. Does anybody know where Lafayette Park is? Yeah, yeah. Lafayette Park is across the street from the White House, right? And we're, uh, we're trying to post a bunch of these leaflets up in colleges, especially around the area, because it's kind of during spring break time. So anybody interested in posting leaflets, I got a bunch of them. So please volunteer, help me out. And here's Mick and Jessa hopping the squat. Squawk! 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 This is Squawk Magazine. This is the almost, almost weekly magazine of the Naked City Coffee House. Squawk! Sometimes poetry by Chicken Little. We're, uh, it's cartoons, poetry, articles, movie reviews, song lyrics, and all kinds of craziness. Um, this is our winter park when we did our outdoor concert. This is one dollar. This is our 36th edition. And if anybody wants to be published, talk to me and Jessa. If you have any like poetry or song lyrics, and you can become published, copy yourself. Squawk Magazine. One buck. All right. Yeah. Don't just talk, grab the clock. All right. And now, you can hear the chicken talk. That's the other one. And now, a break. Walk. A break. A break. A break. A break. A break. Hi, uh, is working? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Mother, mother, are you there, Mom? Mom? That sounds much better. Okay. <laughs> well, I personally pledge fifty dollars towards us buying an entertainment license, if that's possible. The rest of you all can just sit there. Rich man, nothing. You know, you value what you got and what's worth it to you. I think it's weird. the dog. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do three quick poems that the people over there can finish networking. God, you all have your phone numbers by now. Cut me in on the deal. I'm going to do three quick poems and I'm going to turn the uh, mic over to my friend Raymond Neese who's going to do something. And, and you're sure to like that. Keep both of your hands on the table where I can see them. Answer all the questions with plain English. Let's go over the facts, all the facts, over and over. I still have the same questions. You still have the same dodge. You say, hey, you're making a lot of it out of not too much. Come on, wake up. Let's say a fair, a tryst, or one wild week or two. But don't say love, lest we cross that line where heady vertigo. It just makes you sick, I think. Here it goes. This is it. We don't know how it happened. We had agreed to all the right things, held our palms, hands out in gesture of hostage hearts, pioneers with poker faces who choose guilt over responsibility, once explorers of this new thing, now criminals, you and me, I say, hey, what's this invisible weight that still clings to us, unshakable? Did we value too highly the things we couldn't agree about? Now what about that? We could forgive each other ourselves, whatever the accusations still stick. Defying all attempts at logic, don't say it, just, just don't say it. If you quote another movie, I'll scream. The same goes for popular songs. Answer all the questions in plain words, plain language. Say it simply, tell the truth. See, you may in fact love me, okay, but keep both your hands on the table where I can see them. It said, all good things must come to an end, okay, but why always bad ends? 
will say goodbye, swear to friendship. You don't believe that. I don't believe that. And our bodies hurtle across the line where heady vertigo just sickens you. And we endured snowstorms of flowers, scarves, and rhetoric just for this. And all the wonder of romance should become cheap parlor magic, I think. Here it goes. This is it. The amazing changing commitment relationship trick. The show begins. I never could carry concern for yesterday. I couldn't grow so gray and flat. I mean, every day has its new colors to show. I keep my eye on where I'm going. And hope to wake up again and again like Genesis, like Lazarus, a new choice, a clean slate, a reflection that remains stable. I leave no footprints, no profile, no photographs, no lasting memories, no hard evidence. I've been burning bridges since I learned to strike matches. And I've used old yearbooks for kindling. And I warm myself by the good heat of the fire until everything else, like everything else, it just sickens and dies. Even mirrors don't remember me, the rewritten man. I reinvent myself every couple of years or so in a blur of revision, in a storm of alchemy, no lasting memories. I keep my eyes on where I'm going always, and I never stay long in one place. I rarely even stand still. My friends say, I write your address in my book, man, with nothing but pencil. Anyway, I never keep in touch, and after a while, we don't even say hello. Nothing is different, and everyone is gone, gone, gone. Even I don't remember what I look like. I'm the rewritten man. It's my race for change, a new home, this time a true face, in a fury of reinvention from a chameleon memory where there is no lasting history. I keep my eyes on where I'm going, going, and I've burned bridges I haven't even crossed yet. I'm not somebody who would willingly blow my own horn at the slightest opportunity. It's a complete lie. Uh, there's something called the First Friday uh, at First Church Coffee House, which is featuring sing, a singwriter, guitar player, Glenn Pettit, with his special guests allowed to exist on the stage at the same time as his Immaculate Presence, Maggie Simpson, and then me, and then Glenn Pettit. So it's at 8 p.m. Uh, Friday, March 1st, 1991, the First Congregational Church, Somerville, 89 College Avenue. Ask me for details. I'd almost pay you to be there. But really, I won't. So, I hope you all show up. Maybe last one, one last poem, and then it's uh, uh, time for Remy Peace. This is called The Easy Curve Game. It was an easy curve on an otherwise effortless Sunday morning. We were drinking sweet coffee out of the front porch and talking about, I think, math class back in high school as the hours gently fathomed by in front of us. And hands that no hands reached to touch hands. I heard your heartbeat in your slow sigh, and I wanted only to hold gently you. I heard your heartbeat, and I, I heard your heartbeat. You said, I wonder how three words can just hang there, unspoken words, Yet still, yet still so heavy in the air. And are we having a contest to see who's first to say them? And has it really been already seven weeks now, you said. And the cool breeze touched, and the cool breeze knew. It curled round the hour of noon and carried it away. I had a smile on my face, big as a giveaway secret. My hair in both our faces as I turned to look at you. Let's say hands that no hands have connected already. Here is the contest I propose we try. Okay, let's have our honest wagers on the table now. I heard your heartbeat. Now, what am I willing to put up to the gamble? I said, this is the game. Whoever says those three words first, 
the other shall be the winner in this waiting game. Leaning over to you, I breathed once and said, I love you. So I guess I lost the game, but won far more. Yeah, yeah, and hands that know two whole bodies have shown strength. Having reached out, discovering your beauty, I have found also mine. I wanted to hold only very gently you. I heard your heartbeat. It is fine. It is fine. It is fine. It is fine. I heard your heartbeat. Here is mine. Thank you. And now, Ray McNeese. <laughs> 